The Honourable Member for Epidemiskamang. Mr. Speaker, even though his government ignored three court orders on appropriate funding levels for health services for Indigenous children, yesterday the Minister of Indigenous Services said that, in fact, it's the provinces that should have been brought before the Human Rights Tribunal. That's how, if that's how the Liberals treat their most important relationship, imagine how they're treating others. It's not the provinces who were found guilty of discrimination. It was this government. When will the Liberals stop blaming others, take responsibility, and end discrimination? Honourable Minister. Member opposite, as well as all members in this House, recognize the very severe circumstances that Indigenous children are facing, with more than 50 per cent of the children in care in this country being Indigenous children. We have to all work together to address this very serious problem. That requires Indigenous leaders, it requires the federal government, it requires provinces and territories and child and family services agencies. We've got to get this right, and everyone needs to be involved. Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. Speaker, their names are Chantel Fox and Joanne Winter. They were 12 years old and they were loved. And this government was found culpable in their deaths. Specifically, the minister's department's refusal to respond in what was known to be a, quote, life and death situation. So the minister is in federal court, not to clarify, but to, quote, quash the order. Six million dollars of taxpayers' money has been wasted fighting First Nation children in court. So for Chantel, for Joanne, for all the other children falling through the crack. Will this minister just call off your lawyers and do the right thing and end that federal court case today? The Ottawa member uh, for Timothy James Bay is an experienced member and knows that uh, he should be redirecting his comments uh, to the chair, the Ottawa Minister for Indigenous Services. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to remind the member opposite the lengths to which we have gone to make sure that Jordan's principle is fully implemented. This makes sure that every child will get access to the care they need. Up until our government took power, we did not have resources for this. We now have hundreds of millions of dollars of resources. Close to 19,000 cases have been requested. We are working to make sure that every child will get access to the care they need and making sure that it's done right. 